Hi, I'm Paul Jun, and for today's Hippo Short, we're going to cover how to identify knee effusions on a lateral knee x-ray. Now, this is a normal lateral knee x-ray. There are four main structures to note. First is a suprapatellar pouch. In a normal knee, the suprapatellar pouch is not prominent. Second, you can see that the quadriceps tendon is straight and the posterior border of the quadriceps tendon is clearly defined and not blurred in a normal knee x-ray. Third, Hoffa's triangle or the area around the anterior femoral condyles in a normal knee is radiolucent or dark. Finally, in a normal knee x-ray, the patella is not anteriorly displaced. Now let's look at an abnormal lateral knee x-ray. In knee effusions, you'll often see a homogeneous rounded soft tissue fluid density in the suprapatellar pouch. Depending on the severity of the knee effusion, you may see bowing of the quadriceps tendon, as well as blurring of the posterior border of the quadriceps tendon by the effusion. Depending on the severity of the knee effusion, you may see fluid density in Hoffa's triangle, as you can see here, and the patella may be anteriorly displaced. Now, the presence of a knee effusion does not mean that there is an intraarticular fracture, but if you see lipohemarthrosis in the suprapatellar pouch with fat and fluid layering out, that highly suggests intraarticular fracture. In this case, a tibial plateau fracture. And that wraps it up for this short. Check out more shorts like this at hippoeducation.com, and I'll see you next time.